What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play The Mega Man X. Uh, today we're going to be taking on Armor and Armadillo, uh, because he's got a really, really easy to grab sub tank, which is always a positive. Uh, he's also, he's got, he's got some goodies in there. He's got another goodie in there, a little health upgrade that we'll be grabbing. The boss fight with him... It's kind of annoying with just the Mega Buster. I don't, I don't usually do him first, actually. I th I'm pretty sure we're supposed to start here, but I don't usually do him first. Sometimes I uh, start out with uh, Chili Chill Chill over here because he's got some pretty fancy shoes. But uh, I guess we'll start Arm and Armadillo. I think it's pretty important to show you guys how to get some uh, health upgrades slash that, that first sub tank. The sub tanks are friggin' boss. Uh, yeah, Disco. Whatever. Um, actually, that intro is really cool. This music's awesome, too. This is a really fun stage. A really dynamic stage. It really, really illustrates the fact that you're not playing Mega Man anymore. You're doing some crazy things. Uh, jumping around on freaking minecart trams. We're basically in Indiana Jones right now. Killing some freaking turkeys with crazy heads and all sorts of nuts crap. Uh, health isn't as plentiful as in some other Mega Man games, so you want to be a little careful of that. That guy will also one-hit kill you, so you want to be careful of him. But that's how easy it is to get your first sub-tank. You can see it down there. Sub-tanks are actually a mechanic uh, new to the X series. They're going to be replacing the E-tanks of old. All these characters should be dead, by the way. Like, that thing should have killed all this crap. Um, but it, they're going to be replacing the E-Tanks of old, and how these work is, you can see I've collected some energy, and it's gone into the sub-tank. So if you're unfamiliar with it, what's going to happen is if I take too much damage, if I feel that I'm about to die, I can go ahead and crack a sub-tank open, uh, use all that stored up energy that I have in there, and refill my energy bar to full uh, providing that it is, you need a helmet to break those, providing that it is, uh, full itself, the sub-tank's full itself, so, pretty awesome mechanic, I actually really love how they did that, because it adds, it adds to, oh man, extra life, oh yeah, I guess we're starting the, the dynasty of me getting easy extra lives, and Mega Man's continues, but, uh, you could actually farm health up here, but I'm just trying to clear them out so they don't come down and hit me. Like these guys are trying to do. There we go. Oh, I don't even remember what I said. Oh, God. I always forget about that guy. Literally, every time I play this game, I always get hit by that guy. If I was charged up, I could have killed him. I have no idea what I was saying. Honest, honest to God. I apologize, but whatever. Um, best let's play. Anyway, so we're grabbing health. This That's pretty good. My sub-tank's almost full up already. Oh, what it does is it just adds to the amount of items that you want to get. Because sometimes in, Mega Man, in, in all the other Mega Man games, to be honest with you, if you found health and you were already full, you didn't really have any use for it at all. Um, but in this game, what's really awesome is the fact that when you grab that health that you might not actually need, uh... You you get some use out of it. You, you need more health than what you have. I think we've got a full sub tank right there now. So, so now we're back to that kind of old grind. You want to fully charge your Mega Buster before you fall down here, or you could miss out. And then you just want to drill this thing as quickly as possible. Maintain a really close distance. Don't let yourself get hit. And then just drill the attack button because we need to kill this guy before he gets too far here. There we go. I think that was enough. It sh actually should it should be, yeah. There we go. Come on, what an asshole. He almost almost got too far. If he had lived another second, he would have broken the rest of this rock. So you can see why we have to kill him pretty quickly. If we had the uh, the boots, this jump would be way easier. Actually, there we go. When I was younger, I tried to do that for friggin' hours after this ledge had been completely destroyed uh, because I had the boots and I was like, oh come on. Nye! And you just can't make it. There's no way to get that uh, health upgrade. Maybe, maybe if you're like pro super X crazy player, you can jump up there. But they pretty much designed it so that you have to kill that guy early. And even, I mean, even I can't make that jump regularly right there. So you want to kill him a little bit faster than I did. Yeah, it's not too hard. But man, if he had lived one more second, 
we would be very, very depressed right now. But there you go. We've got all the upgrades that we can get from this stage, which is pretty sweet. So we're going to go ahead and finish her up by going on one last little... Oh, I think there... Nope, this is the last minecart ride. One last little minecart ride. I'm going to try and show you a little something special, too, hopefully. By jumping right here. Yep. You can grab that health right there if you need it. There's going to be something else a little bit more fun up there way later on in the game. But for right now, it's just a health upgrade. Just to fill us up all the way before we take on Armored Armadillo. Uh, now, with that full sub tank, this fight is not going to be difficult for you at home at all. But I am going to resolve not to use a sub tank against them. I'm going to try and show you how to take this guy down with without using uh, the tanks of the sub. But... Sub tank's always a very useful uh, thing to do. Oh, here's his second attack. There we go. So he's got three attacks, really. They, oh my god, are you serious, Armored Armadillo? Alright. Oh, that must have hit my baby toe, because it didn't actually hit me. Anyway, whatever, we're still doing alright. I really didn't want to get hit by him at all. So he guards all the friggin' time. He's like playing against the worst fighting character ever. It's like that buddy of yours that took fighting games way too seriously and would like do guards and all this crazy stuff and just make the game not fun anymore. You want him to do that attack though because you'll be able to get a charged off shot on him. Otherwise you're just doing this crap over and over. But yeah this fight's just kind of tedious. It's not too dangerous. Uh, we've seen all the attacks that he has to do. Sometimes he'll just continue to bounce around there for a while but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not very hard. It's just tedious because he guards so much. Are you, Why in the hell did he bounce backwards? There's a lot of dumb crap going on in this fight today. We should still be absolutely perfect, though. I don't see foresee any problems. I kind of clipped through me a little bit, but whatever. It's just so boring. I don't really know what to say other than this is maybe one of my least favorite boss battles ever. Just the fact that he guards so much just makes it really annoying when it didn't have to be. And Sometimes he does that where you're just going to continually bounce around the room. It's kind of lame, but there are other safe spots that you can get to, obviously. He's pretty easy to avoid all in all, and pretty easy to kill. He got a couple cheap-ass hits. I'm going to go ahead and call them cheap shots off on us, but all in all, pretty simple guy. I never understood why we couldn't just zoom, like, transport in through that gaping open hole right there and just walked right up to him, but uh, whatever, you know, whatever. Uh, get prepared for one of the most awesome power-up screens in Mig Man history. They really, really pumped it up in this one. I also like to get my, my pink suit as uh, soon as possible, because I do like to walk through the entire game looking looking friggin fly and I think we can all agree that that's exactly how you look when you get that pink suit on got some more friggin numbers there's a lot of twos that's really all I uh, can remember from that there you go armored armadillo armadilloed um, yeah he's dead so that was pretty sweet we could go back in that stage if we wanted to we actually will much much later but there you go, there's your first Robot Master from Mega Man X taken down. Uh, that's pretty sweet. He's dead. I should just say dead. Deceased or something like that. Pretty cool. Um, there's a bunch of really fun stuff that we're going to be doing in this game. But uh, for right now, I just want to thank you for checking out me taking on Armored Armadillo, our first excursion into the Mega Man X Robot Masters. Next time we're going to be taking on somebody else. I'm not really sure yet. It might be Chill Penguin. I really want those boots. I don't really go in order in this game. But I probably I probably should. Well, I'll show you their weaknesses later. Oh, spoiler alert. But I'll show you their weaknesses later when we take them on again. Um, so maybe we will get those boots from Chill Penguin next time. I'm not sure. There are so many possibilities. It's almost impossible to calculate. But thanks again for watching this episode. I will see you guys tomorrow.